Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. We're going to do some quick hive inspections. It'll probably be several different videos, uh, you know, Wednesday, Saturday on them. Uh, but we got to hurry up and do it because we got some storms coming. I've worked all day long. Uh, on my day off, I took a vacation day to wire a building. But uh, we're going to try to block this wind. But before we start this video, the last video I've seen, or should have been the last video y'all seen, this is the five frame nuke that we put the bees in yesterday and uh, with the, the queen and the clip. I'm thinking they might be migrating from that other hive over there, but we're not gonna mess with them today. We're gonna wait for that tomorrow. So stick around, we're gonna check on some hives. All right, so we're gonna check on this one real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and put my veil on. Because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pissy. But we need to check on them because we got a lot of them hanging out on the front. As you can see from that five frame loop at the beginning of the video. I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off the past couple weeks. I ain't had time to mess with them. So, you got to mess with them when you can mess with them, even if we got in a pending storm that is going to be uh, massive from the uh, satellite video or satellite image. All right, so these are just hanging out on the front of the hive. They've got plenty of room. I'll show you. See, so empty frames. See, last time we were in this hive, I moved the frame up to try to entice these bees to go ahead and move up. But so far, that's all they've done. That's some of that comb I ordered from them people. And they're building it out like crap. Now that's a bow queen cell. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm trying to see if there's an egg in it. I don't see an egg in it, so I'm gonna do that to it. I keep telling y'all I'm gonna do a feeder video. I gotta go by and get uh, a five gallon bucket and a lid so I can do it. That's all honey. So they ain't moved up one bit. I need to go get by and get a five gallon bucket and I need to go get some uh, sugar and stuff. But with all this COVID crap and mandatory mask everywhere you go, it might be a little bit before I go get it. At least the sugar part. See, there's another queen cell. I don't see an egg in it either. As you can see, there was no egg in it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push these frames back together like they were. And put that box back together. We'll check the bottom box and see what we got. Now what it looks like, that's plastic foundation, that's plastic foundation. They hadn't even started drawing it out yet. But I want to make sure we got a laying queen and make sure everything's all right with them. Now they're halfway drawing that frame out pretty good. Same thing on that side. You normally don't want to block the entrance, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I got the golf cart parked in front of it anyway, so it don't really matter. Trying to block the wind. As you can see, the queen's laying good. That's our worker brood with a little bit of honey on top.
Hey, Punky. And some more worker brood. Where they had brood in the center of this hive, they've gone back through and started putting nectar in it for some unknown reason. Yeah. Yeah, it's fixing to get bad. Did you buy a chance to check the moon? Yeah, here's a jump. Just. So what we're looking for now is just to make sure we've got a laying queen. And as you can see, hopefully, the sun's in a bad spot, but I'll try to zoom in on those eggs, but we've got eggs in there that's been laid within the past day or so. So this house doing good. Some people say you need to find your queen. I seen a guy make a video about that the other day that, you know, just seeing eggs and larvae doesn't mean that you've got a queen, but if you've got eggs like that right there that you can know they've been laid in the past day, you've got a queen. So if you want to tear your hive all apart, then uh, by all means do that. That's the good thing about beekeeping. Uh, they're your bees. You look after them how you want to. So if you're a beekeeper that likes to go through and find your queen, find her. They're your bees. You bought them to to look after the way you wanted to, so there you go. About all I got to say about that. I'm gonna put this back together and we'll do a wrap up. All right, so in closing on that video, we got eggs, we got larvae. We know we have a laying queen because of the age of our our uh, queen, but you can see that five frame nuke right there. They're stacked out pretty good. And then that's the other hive that I'm not sure if they got a queen or not. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. Hopefully y'all seen that one before this one. And uh, we're gonna do some more hive inspections on some other stuff. See how the bees are hanging out. But uh, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as you can see behind me, you can't really see it on this camera. We got storms coming, so we got to hurry up. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around this far, I really do appreciate it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one.